At six years old, Carletta Drew saw things so clearly. She had dreams of being a nurse, but then that dream was crushed. My cousin and I was playing in the sand. He knocked me down, and that was it. Her right eye shut down. The blow to her head shattered the cornea. I was totally blind. At that time, a nurse was required to have the use of both eyes. So every night, that little girl... I prayed and asked God for that. And she asked for a miracle. Indeed, with the hope for a miracle... Artificial corneas provide a view into the future. This artificial cornea in particular, AlphaCor, requires two stages of surgery. In this surgical video, we shall see the stage one of AlphaCor surgery. Formation of a Gunderson flap Scleroconial incision, lamellar dissection to form a corneal pocket. Checking this pocket to make sure it has the space necessary to insert the alpha core. Posterior trepanation with relief of preplaced viscoelastic. Alpha core insertion and superior mattress fixation suture to prevent any movement in this corneal pocket. Closure of the scleroconeal incision with interrupted tenonylon sutures. Cover with Gunderson flap. In this video, we see the lamellar dissection in progress. Oops! The lamellar dissector has gone through the anterior lamellae and perforated the cornea. This could be a pitfall, especially in eyes like these, which are soft, aphagic, with poor lamellar resistance during the dissection process. The pearl I could offer in these cases would be, obviously, go with a slower dissection, monitor your resistance, and if this complication does occur, Go down a little deeper with a pre-placed diamond incision and re-dissect the pocket at a deeper level. As we can see in this video, we now have two layers of anterior cornea to provide enough security to the alpha core. This is the patient and doing well. In this video, we are carefully dissecting a previously grafted eye. This patient had multiple previous human corneal transplants that have all failed. Watch as I carefully dissect in the area of the graft wound interface. I realize this is a very thin zone, nearly down to the decimase. I decide to proceed. Oops! We perforated into the anterior chamber, as you saw with the leak of aqueous at that moment. The pitfall here is, in previously grafted eyes, make sure you carefully transgress the area of the graft wound interface and always, always check the wound healing on a slit lamp prior to surgery to determine the depth of your dissection. The pearl I could offer in these cases is, if such a complication does occur, as we see in this video, I suture this site of perforation and change my position of entry. I move temporal in this patient and renegotiate the graft dissection to form the corneal lamellar pocket. We are successful in doing the same from a temporal dissection and place the alpha core securely in position following this technique. We have designed a complete set of instruments to further refine the artificial cornea transplant surgery. In this video, we see the use of these new instruments. The globe stabilizer, with a single hand movement, moves the globe inferiorly and stabilizes at both ends. The uniform depth corrected, single movement knife that forms a scleroconeal incision in one sweep of a movement. This specially designed multi-planar lamellar dissector can be used in the toughest corneas to negotiate the scars and form a completely secure lamellar pocket.
This specially designed instrument performs multiple functions. It can be used to pre-measure the corneal pocket. It is also used as a carriage for the alpha core for insertion and as a release forceps too. Low profile tree fine for posterior trephination. Specially designed inner ring concentric forceps that are atraumatic as well as guide the needle as it closes the Gunderson flap. In this stage two surgical video, we first mark the central zone on the anterior corneal lamellae. Using what I've called the lift and pinch technique, which allows for an air fluid sign, we determine the accurate depth as we carefully enter with a super sharp blade. We cut the anterior lamellar of the cornea until we reach the glistening reflex of the artificial cornea underneath it. This cut is then completed using scissors to reveal the anterior surface of the artificial cornea. This is the moment when the patient sees after stage two. Twenty-four hours after the plastic cornea was cleared, look at me, please. There was a light at the end of her dark tunnel. I said, "I can see you," and I saw that E so perfect on that board. Oh, it, and it's just wonderful. And I can see you sitting there now. Isn't that what? I can see him out there with that. Oh, it's, it just makes chills run over you to think about it. At 79 years old, she says life has just begun. I feel 20 or 25 years younger, I really do. I feel like I could lick the world now. I'm getting ready to do it. I want to go back to college. The miracle she waited seven decades for finally happened. I feel like a little girl with a brand new toy that I want to tell everybody what I've got.